morning, you guys. It's Sunday morning. I woke up at 8 a.m. And honestly, I'm cramping. <laughs> I'm just not in a good mood. I'm in an awful mood, actually. And I don't really have anything to pinpoint it. I'm just feeling unmotivated. I'm feeling blah. I just want to stay like this in bed all day. And that is just not my vibe. I don't like to stay in bed all day. I have no desire to do that. I'm recording an episode of Gals on the Goat podcast with Brooke in an hour. And that always puts me in a good mood. But I need to get in a somewhat good mood before we record that. So, <laughs> I thought what better thing to do than vlog my experience of being in an awful mood. And hopefully increase my mood and you guys said you wanted more like real unfiltered relatable chatty vlogs this is definitely gonna be one of those it's not gonna be like unedited completely just because i don't know i just feel like i'm gonna pause a lot and i feel like i just need to edit this but it's gonna be pretty real um i literally woke up this morning starving i wake up so hungry every morning if it's 7 a.m if it's 10 a.m i wake up starving so i literally like slept walk to the kitchen and made a bagel there it is right there i then ate it in bed because i could not get up and just put the, the plate right there so then i continued to lay in bed i brought my computer over here i watched like two youtube videos watched Haley fam get um proposed to and cried that was really cute and then I watched Brooke's video and I responded to a couple comments on my video I posted today because I post on Sundays and it puts me in a good mood. But I just, oh god, I'm not, not here for it today. Anyways, I think first things first is let there be light. They are so happy and they make me happy and you can do all these funky things with them. Like, oh, okay. Took some pain relievers. It is now... 10:49, and Brooke and I are recording at 12. Oh my god, I just don't feel good. I'm gonna go through the steps of how I wake myself up, how to get after the day. I'm pretty sure it's like nice out, so let's check out that. Yeah, it's like pretty nice out, so I really have no excuse. Like blue skies. I think I need to first go take a shower because showers make me feel better. I know this video is a mess, but I am a mess today. <laughs> yeah, I washed my hair last night and I actually used the Dyson Airwrap, so I don't wanna wash my hair. I just don't like to do that every day. So we're gonna go take a little body shower, wake ourselves up, do a little skincare, and then we'll check in after. Also, I'm going to light a candle so that when I come back after my shower, my room will smell good. All right, and then we'll also turn on the salt lamp. All right, let's do this. I also just realized I should make my bed because I really like walking in my room when my bed's made. So, that's what we're gonna do. Oh my God, this is a workout in itself. <sighs> okay, where's my bear? Ah, here we are. That's a dog, not a bear. This looks awful. All right, that's okay. Could have been worse. Oh man, you guys, that shower made an astronomical difference. Is that how you can use the word? <laughs> I feel a lot better. I really just wanted to stay in the shower. It was just like super refreshing. So something that just always puts me in a good mood is the um, theme song, if you will, for Outer Banks, AKA Left Hand Free by Alt-J. So I know it's literally only in the first episode, but you know like on Netflix when it would play and play and play before you ever watched the show and it was like, okay, I'll watch the show, like left hand free, let's go. I'm, I love the song now, like when I'm driving and it's like beachy vibes, I'm like, yes, let's go. So Alexa, play Left Hand Free by Alt-J. Left Hand Free by Alt-J on Amazon. Let's go. <laughs> All right, it's gonna be a good day, I feel it. Okay. Four, three, two. That's a spin instructor in me. <laughs> okay, while I was jamming, I picked out an outfit. So here's today's fit. I just really need to be comfortable. Um, I was gonna wear jeans and I was like, why would I do that to myself today? So I'm wearing this top. I'm really into these like raw hemline like tank tees situation. This is from bandier.com. My necklace, I believe, is from Missouri or Adina Jules. It's one of the two. It's just like a little star. 
sweatpants are from Boohoo. For perfume today, I'm gonna put on some of this rose quartz oil. I love this stuff right now. I'll link it down below for you guys. But it seriously just puts me in the best mood. It smells so good. Like, people can smell it from super far away. Mmm. And uh, it's supposed to open up your heart chakra, which makes you, like, love and happy. It's used to attract love and open the heart chakra associated with promoting peace, love, happiness, and fidelity. So, this is my perfume for the day. It lasts all day. People smell it all the time. But we love that. Um, so, yeah, skincare, skincare. I don't even have the lights on. I do that a lot, actually. It's the little things like the skincare organizer I got you guys. You need it. I'll have it also linked down below. It's on my Amazon shop as well that I also have linked down below. I'm only saying all this because everyone always asks me to link. So I want to give the people what they want. Step one in skincare to having a good day and feeling refreshed and just these, you guys. Or any sort of like peel pads, cold pressed pads. Facial pads are just so great. These are my favorite, naturally serious. Um, they just changed, the, oh my God, I only have like five left. <laughs> Need to get more. But this stuff is just so refreshing. It smells like, like cucumbers and a spa and just everything. And it just really wakes me up for the day. I really needed this. I usually do this right when I wake up, but I literally wasn't even that well to get out of bed and do this. And then I really just like haven't been wearing makeup since I got sun on my face. I just don't like that look. Some Joanna Vargas Rescue Serum. <laughs> Rescue me. Um. Mm. A little eye cream. Some Ole Henriksen eye cream. It's not like I love this eye cream. It's the best eye cream ever. It's just something like I don't even know if it does anything but it feels like it just brightens and it's very refreshing as well. And then I'm loving this Tatcha um, Kisu lip mask. I just literally use it as lip balm. Hot take, I think it's better than the Laneige one, in my opinion. <laughs> Wash out my lashes here, and I know my face looks super like greasy right now after doing all that, but I don't really care. We are all set to go, a little hand sanitizer, because it can't hurt. Gotta get the hater blockers. Love you too. Thanks. Darn humidity. All right, you guys. So, sometimes when I really am just in a funk, or I don't feel amazing, or whatever it may be, I just get out of the house in any way that I possibly can. Um, just to kind of get up, get moving. I really enjoy just listening to music in my car. It puts me in a really good mood in itself. Haven't had coffee yet today. They say coffee's not always the best for when you are cramping, because the caffeine kind of accentuates it, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do that, and it's gonna it's gonna be okay. I need coffee, and I need iced coffee, especially when Brooke and I record. It's just very vital in our brand. <laughs> um, so we are gonna get iced coffee and tampons. Woo! Don't you love that? So, yeah, I need both of those things, and we're gonna go get them. All is good in the hood, and it's just gonna. It's a beautiful day, honestly, and I just think it'll be a great way to start the day. So I think first up, we're gonna go get the tampons because I think just on the way there like CVS is first and it just or I think I'm going to Walgreens um, I think that's first and then I'll do that not that you guys literally care at all but I think that's the order of events so let's get this bread all right you guys just got to Walgreens putting on the mask I just got this one from Revolve actually it's really cute gonna go do what I gotta do got the goods I don't know why I decided to wear sweatpants on like a very hot day, but it felt right at the time. Okay, I actually just got hungry again too. Okay, let's go to Starbucks. Hi, what's my favorite for you? Hi, can I get a grande iced coffee with light cream? Grande iced coffee with light cream? Yes, and then do you have any egg and cheese boxes? Awesome, that's it. All right, let's go get the goodness. All right, we got the egg and cheese protein box, iced coffee. Woo! Okay guys, I just pulled in my driveway and come on, we all sit in our driveway and just drink our coffee and just not go inside yet, right? It's like a thing. So, I posted a new video today 
um, Wednesdays and Sundays I always post and sometimes other times obviously but literally I treat posting days like Christmas morning I love them they make me so happy I just love seeing y'all's responses and I love interacting and it's just like it's like game day it's like let's go boys like new video so this morning I I just like like to like drink my coffee and then post a little Instagram story about the YouTube video and respond to comments and I just like was feeling the very bare minimum this morning so I just responded to a couple of the comments that was it um so I just did like a little Instagram story and I'm about to post an Instagram photo like promoting the video so I, I'm just like sitting here and doing that it always puts me in a good mood to like finally be like okay like let's see how everyone's doing um makeup like just so not so yeah posting that right now and then i'm gonna go inside eat my protein box and then brooke and i are recording i'm getting i'm like my mood has changed so much like do we see this okay we're back in the office now i just posted all the things um oh i didn't do my doing well daily journal today i usually do that but brooke and i are recording in a little over 15 minutes i just don't i'll do this after maybe i just love it it puts me in a good mood for the day um, but this week's podcast episode is actually um, on things that got us through quarantine. So, like, just favorites that, I don't know, just things that really just got us through these last few months. Whether it's products or tech stuff or whatever. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. But, yeah, so I need to finish um, writing down everything. We also have been doing quotes each week that really stand out to us. So... I want to make sure I have all that set to go. All right, setting up the podcast. Oh. Brooke and I are going to do a Google Hangout today instead of FaceTiming. Um, also, another shout out to Gals in the Go podcast. If you don't listen, every Wednesday we upload a new episode. And I just, it has changed my life for the better. So many people love it. This week, like I said, what we're talking about is things that we've been loving. And things that got us through quarantine quarantine got the mic here brooke records on her end we facetime and then our producer meshes it up together like we're in the same room it's awesome we've been doing this pre-quarantine so we're like pros it's whatever no i'm kidding but um yeah i'm excited to chat with her all right i'm on with brooke you can't hear her but she is there <laughs> and we're gonna start this shindig <laughs> okay record stand by recording clap one, two, three. Hey, 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 you guys. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Gals on the Go podcast. I'm Danielle. <laughs> it was so funny, you guys. Like, I texted Brooke this morning. I was like, can we do, like, a 12.30 recording? And she was like, yeah, 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 that's fine. So I'm FaceTiming with Ryan right now. Hey, guys. <laughs> guys, should Ryan do another vlog? He got a, a new <laughs> phone, so his camera quality is a little bit better. Um, do we want to see that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I might need to... I gotta do a little bit better from the last one. We'll see. <laughs> Alright guys, Brooke and I finished recording and then as we were ending, Ryan FaceTimed me so I called him back. It was good to catch up with him. He like does an internship Monday through Friday and it's literally like in the morning up until like 6 p.m. every day and then I don't know we just don't get to like talk as much so it's really nice when we get to FaceTime. All I feel that I want to do right now is sit on my bed and I feel like if I work on my essay outline that's due. Um, did I tell you guys that? I don't know. I have an essay outline due tomorrow that actually I think I did tell you guys about so I have to do that. I have a 20 page paper for one of my summer classes so I need to write the outline for that. That's due tomorrow so I just want to get it done today because it's due at 12 p.m. tomorrow so I'd rather just get it done now. And I feel like while I'm laying here, I could, like, obviously do that. And then I also need to edit two videos. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to sit in here. I actually have to write five pages. <laughs> I All I saw was write one page summary of why you would like to research this topic. But then it says research and find at least four fashion companies for your case analysis on the selected topic. And provide a summary of each company's significant facts. A minimum of one page write-up for each company. So that means that's right, five pages, and I'm just so unwell right now. The thought of that is just... But I'm hoping that that can be a part of my paper. Because then, if so, then thank you, Professor, because then that knocks out five pages. Okay, so I just went to go refill my water bottle. I'm already a page in, so that's good. Um, And I just stepped outside, and it's actually nice and breezy out. So I think I'm going to sit under a gazebo or something, like, not in the sun, but, like, just to be outside because it does feel good. Oh, my God, I'm literally cramping so hard, guys. <laughs> I don't want to take more pain reliever. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go outside now. 
and do my paper out there. Much, much better. <laughs> Just came inside. I'm really freaking pumped. Literally the second um, Danielle Bernstein's We Wore What like bathing suit collection came out, I literally like had a timer on. I never do that, but her she came out with a cowhide bikini, and it was so cute. But I just thought this one was so unique, and I know it's gonna be good quality. So I thought I'd do a little unboxing. It just came in the mail. It's so weird getting mail on Sundays. Um, oh my god, it's so cute. This is the top. I think I got a small top and medium bottoms. Yeah, small top. Yep, this is the top. So cute. Cowhide vibes. I have one from Nasty Gal, but this is just like way better quality. And the bottoms. Yep, I was right. I got a medium. Ugh, they're so cute. I'm so excited. It was really nice how it felt really good. Um, and then I just started to not be able to see my screen anymore, even though I was under shade. Literally bless up so hard. Oh my god. And I totally just Uber Eats Panera mac and cheese, and I'm not mad about it. I'm so excited. All right, guys, update. It is now 7.15 p.m. I'm on page four. We're doing really, really well. It's a lot easier than I honestly thought. I've taken a couple breaks. Um, but yeah, I need to get outside again or something. So I'm going to go for a bike ride. Not like spin. I'm just going to go for a bike ride. So I just popped on some shorts. I'm going to get on my bike, and the sun's setting soon. So I think it'll be perfect timing. I'm just going to put on my AirPods, listen to some happy music, and yeah, I'm kind of like back in the slumps a little bit, <laughs> but that's okay. That's just how it goes in a day, I feel like. And I just, I don't know, like I literally, like my mom was so sweet and heated up this like heat pack for me. I'm just, I don't know fam, really hope I don't feel like this tomorrow. Hopping out back to read a little bit and drink this LaCroix. Hello gang, so it is now almost 11 p.m. And after I read outside, I waited for the sunset, then I came back in and I finished my paper. I obviously took breaks, but I did finish about an hour ago and I submitted it. So that was a really, really great feeling. And I snapped out of one of my friends that's also taking the class and I was like, oh, finally done. And she's like, what, it's just one page. And I said, no, it's five. And like, it made me feel better because I thought I was the only one. Yeah, after that, I edited a video. It is exporting now. Um, I filmed the things I'm loving right now video, so I want that to go up. But yeah, all in all, today was a good day. Um, didn't think I'd get even as much done as I did today as I did. Um, I was like talking to my mom before I went to, before she went to bed, and I was like, I feel like I did nothing today because I hate just sitting in bed, but my stomach just called for that. Like I needed to just sit here. And she was like, Danielle, you literally wrote a five-page paper. You edited a video. You went for a bike ride. You read. Like you went and ran errands. I was like, okay, yeah. But <laughs> I just, this is, I, I have a problem. I need to learn how to chill sometimes. But yeah, so anyways, it's kind of a random vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. My mood did boost. Um, and now I'm just feeling super fulfilled. Now that the assignment's done, I can like go to bed knowing I don't have to wake up early and like scramble to like finish it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you are new here to be updated every time I post a video. Follow me on TikTok. I do have fun on there. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all the things. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.